let's go my lovely ladies and gentlemen how are you guys doing how are you doing yeah i know i'm a wizard they got a new update right <laughs> i get it we need two three and four i'm just chilling I'm going to show you what's going on in Idle Wizard, but first I was in the middle of a, a video game. You guys, might, you guys might recognize this one. This is Dead by Daylight. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. It's lots of fun. They got lots of good changes coming up soon, and uh, I do have some exciting news about Dead by Daylight. I'm planning on... I'm planning on trying to become the first... Prestige 100 Demogorgon in this game. Now, this girl thinks she's really good. I might have to kill her. Can't let survivors go around with the, you know, <laughs> with confidence. <laughs> we gotta stop that. Yeah, I play without sound and on low graphics when I'm uh when I'm not streaming. So I probably shouldn't do that. I should probably turn on the sound for you guys. Hey, it's Fing. Hey, Fing. What's up, sweetie? How you doing? But uh, they actually did come out with an update for Idle Wizard, guys. How are you guys doing? And uh, it's awesome. So, you know, we're working towards those things. We're a long way off, unfortunately. Let's see. We got three and four. I'm literally just going for uh, blood points right now. We finished off the... Uh, What's his name? The the creepy new dude? The fridge, whatever his name is. And uh, <laughs> uh, we're still trying to finish off the nurse as soon as we can. Because unfortunately for me, I prestige three'd her recently and uh, it wasn't the best decision ever. Let's just say that. Okay, we're looking for number four and then we're pretty much done with this game and we can go to to Idle Wizard just long enough to show you guys what's going on because uh, I'm about to earn some profit in that game and I want to be able to show it off. Okay, we're looking for one girl. Where's she at? Where is this beautiful, lovely lady at? Why would you go in there? Bro, these people took off. They be zooming. There she is. This is the one I want. There she goes. So we're going to be playing Dead by Daylight like we're no lifers. Like, no cap. I don't know how many bullet points it's going to take to get the Prestige 100. But if you was to tell me it'd take 200 million, I'd believe you. So I think I can do that in under 100 days. <laughs> I really don't know for sure, though. Uh, we're done with this game. GG's. We'll let them finish the game now. All right, on to more important things. Who do we got here? We got Dr. Sour Patch. Yeah, that's exactly what I said, Dr. Sour Patch. I said, people are going to say to me, Brother Love, uh, what's this out of wizard update? People are going to say to me, Brother Love. Yeah, there we go. Let me switch back to out of wizard. Here we go, guys. This is what everybody wants to see. This is, this is what pays the bills. Iron Anger, God bless you. You are a treasure to me, my beautiful human being. Well, look who woke up and smelled the coffee. Bruh, I have been so busy. It's been over 100 degrees every day. My family's been on vacation. They come back tomorrow night. And I have, oh my gosh, 10 chickens, four, six rabbits. Um, <laughs> counting's hard. Uh, two baby chicks and two dogs, including this beautiful little Rottweiler puppy right here, Daddy. Oh, he's so precious. Um, I, I have had my hands full. So when they come back, uh, it's gonna be easier for me to stream again, thank God. <sighs> I know, I know, I feel bad. I was actually thinking that I'd be able to stream a whole ton while they're gone, right? That's, that's silly me, silly brother love with his silly little dreams. Um, <laughs> I have met some really spicy people in the last two weeks. Uh, you know, when I do occasionally get the chance to play this game, I don't really care what happens during Dead by Daylight. Um, I ain't got nothing to prove, and I'm not trying to rank up or anything. And these people are like, they're sending me PMs and stuff, man. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand these people. Like, these survivors take this way too seriously. Like, every now and then I'll meet a survivor who has some real good moves and 
I get a little bit competitive and one thing leads to another and they're dead. It turns out, I'm going to tell you guys a secret, survivors don't like dying in this game. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to throw that out there. Survivors don't like dying. So what has changed in Idol Wizard? Believe it or not, it just got another update. They released tier 3 classes and they're planning on releasing a couple more. So I can't do a tier 3 class yet. I don't believe I can. Can I? Bruh. It says Paragon level 40. No, I'm not 40 yet. Um, well, maybe we can. That's crazy. Archon. This would be the one that I would play right here. This is new. This is the Tempest. And this is the Demi Urge. So they're going to add two more, they said. Um, in the in the future could be six months could be a month <sighs> but we're playing the Archon right now so let me tell you guys about my let's play first of all I'm going to show you guys uh, where we spent our memories at from our very first realm this is where we spent all of our memories and these are the imprints that we bought we only bought two imprints <laughs> Um, and now I'm going to talk about how powerful those memories and imprints were. So, for example, um, I know, baby, I know. It's, it's hard being a puppy. Um, this is the Druid. When I played before I ever hit round one, I could get all the way to E100 Mysteries on the Druid, right? After round one... Guess what, guys? I got all the way to E200 Mysteries. So it doubled the power of the Druid. Um, Necromancer, I used to play him from E200 to E300. I played the Necromancer from E200 to E380 right here when I switched to Archon. So it literally doubled the power of all my wizards up to this point. Just putting these points in here. So yeah, realming is super important. I think there's people who are like on their 19th realm. Um, there's two soft reset mechanics in this game. The first one is exiling to earn mysteries. You see, we don't, we haven't hit 393 yet, so we should not exile. The second one is called realming. Now you have to hit E400 mysteries, but then you can go to your next realm, right? And you can spend some points, and you can become more powerful, and you can push further faster. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's pretty sweet. It's a good deal. <sighs> I wonder if Dead by Daylight's done yet. Hey, look at that. You made it, guys. Good job. GG. Good job, my lovelies. I'm just earning extra blood points. Like I said, we finished off the, uh, the scary monster. And I'll tell you guys what I might do as a bonus after this let's play is I might turn on the sound and uh, I might stream a secret stream where it's not recording but we can talk and listen to music and chill um, yeah we think the dredge not the refrigerator the the dredgeinator there we go yeah we finished all his perks so he's he's good now <sighs> and now I'm doing the painful task of putting all the perks on the nurse oh I hate the nurse I hate her so much. Why did I prestige her like a, like an absolute goober? I shouldn't have done it. You see that we're at least three million away from finishing her off. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. So we can get her to prestige three, and on the fourteenth, a patch is going to drop for Dead by Daylight, and you're going to be able to go from prestige three all the way to prestige 100. Now, I don't know why they put a limit on it. I wouldn't have done that. But I tell you what, Brother Love is a very competitive person. So I want to be the first Demogorgon to hit prestige 100. Here's the problem. Barbecue and chili doesn't give double blood points anymore. So, uh, that's an issue. So we got 50 blood webs, and I think based upon some math that I've done before, it takes about 2 million, 2 million 
but it takes like 1.8. Let's whip up the calculator real quick. This is big maths. Okay, check this out. It takes 1.8 million to go from level zero to level 50 in a prestige tree, right? And we need to do this 97 more times. So that's 175 million blood points that we need. Okay, 175, I'm writing this down, 75 million. And with barbecue and chili, I can get 3 million blood points a day. Without barbecue and chili, I can probably only reasonably get like 1.25 million blood points a day. So 175 divided by 1.25 equals Wow, really? So this is this is guessing that it'll take me 140 days to hit prestige 100. I got no idea. I, I, I got no idea how long it's going to take. We're making a lot of assumptions here. I don't know how much it's going to take. They claim that they were reducing the grind, but am I being silly by thinking they actually dramatically increased the, the, the grind here? Maybe I'm misunderstanding something basic, and if you guys know the secret, just let me know because I'm fully willing to admit that maybe I did something wrong there. I'm fully willing to admit that. Anyway, we are getting ready for our first burst as Archon. And to say that the Archon is complicated is an understatement, okay? Um, <laughs> the Archon uses eight spell sets before he bursts. Check this out, guys. Eight spell sets before he bursts. And I even have a ninth one right there. Oh my goodness, he is all about stacking everything. Um, this is my pet. When he hits level 350, I can transform him into the next pet. Um, it doesn't say that you can do that on here, but trust me, you can. I have never transformed this pet before, so I'd like to do that in the next month, maybe. That would be super awesome. Um, yeah, I guess without any further ado, let's go ahead and burst. You can tell that we're saving up Void Mana right now. You can always tell because you have Void Lore and Void Radiance. And I'm wearing my Void Mana gear set, right? But now I'm going to switch to my Burst gear set and my Burst spell. And we're going to make a lot of profit. You guys ready? This is, this is what we all can't... Oh, I guess I should turn on some music, right? I'm being a bad host. There we go. Got that music going now, buddy. Let's go. Let's do it. Here we go. You press P4 and Z7. Yeah. Boom. Let's go, baby. Whoops. So... The main source of income that I have as a Archon comes from this one source right here. And you can tell my sword is losing charges, but that's okay, that's that's what it's there for. Alright. This is part of my burst. I actually have a spell set that only charges this sword, so it's, it's a pretty awesome sword actually. It's called the Thunderbird. Well, what you guys think? You think we've earned any profit by doing this? Let's go take a little, let's go take a little gander at the mysteries. <gasps> oh my! Oh my! <laughs> e15 mysteries profit? What? That's crazy, brother love. That's crazy. That is a crazy amount of profit. Great googly moogly. Yep, that's from basically half a day of uh, running those spell sets over and over again. So the TLDR of what we've been doing this last week without, you know, during our Let's Play. Um, we played Druid to E200. We played Necro to E380. 
and we played Archon to what you see before you, E408. So, uh, hey, we've done it, guys. We have done fantastically. We're actually not done bursting until this runs out of charges. So the good thing about the Archon is you can't accidentally burst and lose everything. Other classes, you can make one tiny little mistake and lose your entire burst. But the Archon works by stacking everything. You stack clicks, you stack shards, you stack spells, um, you stack void mana. It takes a really long time to stack things. But the plus side is you're not going to accidentally burst and be like, Oh no, what do I do now? It's okay. It's alright. Everything is fine. You have, you have done no harm. You have done no harm. Look at that beautiful. Woo! Goodness gracious. That's the furthest I've ever been in the game before. E408, baby. The last time I hit E400, I immediately realmed. Because that was the advice that was given to me. You, you hit E400 for the first time, just go ahead and realm. I don't know when our second realm is going to be. I'm going to talk to people on the Discord because they're much smarter than I am. There's uh, several people who helped me out a lot, and I, I gave them a shout out in an in a earlier video. <sighs> so I'm sure they're going to be there to help me again. Um, apparently, Levon ripped Devin's shoulder completely off. Still can't believe that massacre. That's exactly what I was thinking, my dude. After the, after the, it was after the second pull, cause uh, yeah, Devin Larrett looked super confident after the first pull, but after the second pull, he visibly looked injured to me. And I've been watching arm wrestling for a long time, so I kind of knew at that point that there was no way he was going to win. But I was, you know, he did his best. I mean, props to the dude. He's he's facing the guy who's way outside of his weight category. I mean, he's a super giant. Levon is 400 pounds of absolute muscle. When I seen him go against Larry Wills with the green strap and the yellow strap, and he still beat Larry Wills, I knew there's nobody on earth at this moment who can beat him. He's peak. He's peak super heavyweight arm wrestler. There, there is no better. He's the Mike Tyson of, of super heavyweight arm wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, it was a massacre, but it was beautiful to watch. I was so excited. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I think Devin had a chance, and here's how his chances were. Um, if Levon was injured, <laughs> if Levon was sick, <laughs> if Levon was tired, um, <laughs> I mean, any given Sunday, anybody can win. We've seen Buster Douglas beat Mike Tyson, and that was definitely a fluke. Um, Devin had a chance, just not that day, not that pool. Um, I don't think anybody comes close to Levon, because Devin, in my mind, was the closest. Nobody trained as hard as Devin did for the last six months. For two years, he's been doing this crazy pumpkin training regiment where he just strengthens one arm and he completely neglects the other arm and uh, it makes your bones and your muscles and your ligaments bigger in your hand you can actually still grow your ligaments and muscles and bones um, but yeah he yeah he apparently did some serious damage to him, right? It was still wonderful to watch, though. It looks like this is it. This is what all that effort was for. 1.18 E408. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I'm going to charge up for another burst again, but first we got to reset our sword. So we go to Z2. This is the spell set that only builds up my sword. And then I'm going to go to, uh, these are hotkeys. P3 will go to my third set of gear. And Z, uh, probably Z6 to build up the, uh, the void mana. P3, Z6. <sighs> Take a look at what our paragon looks like right now. Um, yeah, we will unlock realms when we, when we exile. But I'm not going to realm yet. 
I really want to see what a T3 pet looks like. I'm going to be honest with you. I've never got to play with the T3, which I understand. This guy doesn't get the T3 pet. He has his own special T3 pet. But, uh, you know, if I wanted to play Shaman or something, and I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm being completely up front. Um, I actually attempted to do this burst on a Shaman yesterday, um, and I got diddly squat. <laughs> the Shaman is so much weaker than when I used to play Shaman years ago. That's actually the reason why I originally quit this game, is Shaman was my main, and they nerfed Shaman into the ground, and he's still, he's still nerfed into the ground. He's, he's destroyed. He, he might as well not exist anymore. Um, but that's what the burst looks like, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we're doing. We're playing the Archon. We're bursting. I don't know when I'm going to reset. But I just wanted to do a real quick Let's Play update for you guys so you would know where I'm at. And yeah, we will, we will do this again in the future. So for the people in my chat, what I'm about to do is I'm going to reset the stream. And I'm going to do a bonus stream. But I'm not going to record it. And I'm just going to listen to music and play Dead by Daylight and chill with you guys. Um, it'll take me a minute to set up. But just a heads up. And have you seen that concrete shed that he trains in? Uh, no, I haven't. But I did see the uh, thing that he that he works on his... What, what kind of muscle? What's that called? The proctor or the... It starts with a P. It's a weird muscle. But uh, his wife actually surprised him by refurbishing it, and he was very unhappy because, you know, you mess with the dude's, uh, you know, with his, his weightlifting equipment that he's been working out with for years. Pronator, that's it, my dude. Pronator. That's it. Oh, Levon, I think I have seen some clips of it, but uh, not really good ones. I'm going to be honest, when Devin lost, I pretty much... I gave up hope on <laughs> on the super heavyweight arm wrestling. Levon has it wrapped, man. There's nobody going to come close to him. Maybe in two years, if Devin continues training and he gets better, maybe then. But for now, nah. Levon is currently the John Bresnick of, uh, of super heavyweight. For those of you who don't know, John Bresnick was the guy who they made the movie Over the Top after. Uh, he, he actually won that tournament. He won. My puppies are playing with each other. I love you, Emma. Oh, you're so precious. Look at you. I love you. Oh, you're such good doggies. Yes, you are. Um, so my puppy went to the vet Monday, and he weighed 40 pounds. Today, he weighs more than 45 pounds. So, <laughs> my boy hit a growth spurt. Woo! He is, uh, he's looking beautiful. He is looking beautiful. See if I can capture these guys for you. Let me show them off a little bit. Let's see if we can. Yeah, look at my beautiful little puppies. There we go. There we go. There's the beautiful boys. I love those puppies. This is my favorite dog, this uh, this Rottweiler. <sighs> love him. Love him. Alright, now I'm just building up Void Mana again, and I'm going to do a secondary burst before I exile. And, but that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is the end of the stream. I'm going to restart the stream for a super secret stream. You can catch me on Twitch TV and you'll meet beautiful, wonderful people like Dr. Sour Patch, Ortiz, uh, Iron Anger, Immortal Ops, Jackie Lynn, who just had an adoption go through. God bless you, Jackie Lynn. What a wonderful blessing that is. Um, lots of wonderful, beautiful people on Twitch TV. But we will be right back, my lovelies. But before we go, let's, let's sing the goodbye song. It's one of my favorite songs. It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a happy feeling you're growing inside. And when you wake up ready to say, I think I'll make 
a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling. The feeling you know you're alive. It's such a good feeling to know you're in tune. It's such a happy feeling to find you're in bloom. And when you wake up ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling. The feeling you know that we're friends. And I'll be back very soon, Lord willing, when the day is new. And I'll have more Dead by Daylight content for you. And you'll have things you want to talk about. And I will too. God bless us one and all. We will the beat, the beat, the beat, the beat, the beat, the beat right back, my lovelies. We will be right back.